Whether you're a dad, granddad, or someone who takes good care of the fam, we've got something special for you. Joshua and some other hospital guests have awesome pieces of art under construction. Savannah and her dad go on an adventure in a galaxy far, far away. Connor takes on the games and the grub of the Echo Party. And Matthew, Angus and George marvel at Goma's Marvel exhibit. Hi, my name is Angel and welcome to Juice TV. This episode is about celebrating Father's Day. Before we get into it, let's learn more about me. She smashes it on the footy field, and right now, she's smashing hosting duties. It's 14-year-old Angel. When not hosting Juice, you'll find her listening to metal, doing art, and facing some fear with horror movies. My favourite sport is rugby because I like getting hurt. My favourite movie is Lights Out and um, Get Out. My favourite saying is, do I know you and what's up? Sup, sup. Do I know you? Do I know you? Do I know you? Sup. My funniest moment is when I did splits in front of everyone and split my pants. If I would have anyone to come to my birthday, it would be my boyfriend, best friends and my rugby team. I can do Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Or Hannah means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. My favourite song is Strip That Down from Liam Payne. My best dance move is the dab. My party trick is the worm tongue. I'm not a big fan of heroes, but I'm a big fan of anti-heroes like Joker, Harley Quinn and Deadpool. But without heroes, I guess you wouldn't have anti-heroes. Now it's over to Matt, Angus and George for a superhero experience. The Juiced Mobile is hitting the streets to catch up with some heroes. We're not talking about these heroes, although we will be soon. Right now, we're talking about these heroes. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm Angus. And this is our brother George. They say heroes aren't made, they're born. Well, that's not entirely true, especially when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We've got this massive exhibit to prove it. Marvel, creating the Cinematic Universe, is the largest Marvel exhibition ever presented, and you can only check it out here at GOMA. Just like the heroes themselves, it journeys through comic books all the way to the big screen. No matter who your Marvel favourite is, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, this exhibit follows them and their adversaries on their adventures so far. We have Amanda here. Amanda, what's your job? I am the curator of this exhibition. So I'm the very lucky person who got to go to LA in Los Angeles and actually look for all of this amazing Marvel props and costumes. Okay, so what is your favorite Marvel character? Well, that's kind of hard, but I have to say Black Widow. Why is Black Widow your favorite? Well, Scarlett Johansson is beautiful, but also I find her character very mysterious and she's got an interesting backstory, so I'm keen to know where that goes. How do you collect all of the stuff? Because there's so many. I saw the Iron Man stuff and it was amazing. There is a lot here. We worked with Marvel very closely. Uh, they were very generous. They opened up their archives. About 50% of what's here, nobody's ever seen including some things uh, from the Thor Ragnarok film set, uh, which the film hasn't come out yet, so that's exciting. Uh, so yes, no, uh, they helped a lot, and we worked out a structure that worked for us, you know, so that when you looked at things, they made sense. What is the Marvel Archive? 
The Marble Archive is, well, there were two. Uh, so we were taken in a car out to an outer suburb of Los Angeles, which is very exciting because I've never been there. So it felt very clandestine and very mysterious. And we went to these large storage areas. And one of them you walked in and you saw all these amazing props and uh, set pieces. And the other one you went into, which was probably about 20 minutes away, you saw all these amazing costumes as well. So you got to see Doctor Strange costumes. I got to see the Black Widow costume because I was excited. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just like this Aladdin's cave of amazing things. Oh, your shoes are very Marvel. They are, aren't they? I am very excited about these shoes. I actually got them made. They're Iron Man on one and Captain America on the other and they're very comfortable because they're superhero shoes. Amanda, what's your favourite part of this exhibit? I would have to say the Thor Ragnarok throne room. So it's actually from the set of the new film, so nobody's seen it. And you walk in and it feels like you are standing beside Chris Hemsworth and actually just seeing this amazing throne, which is about eight metres in diameter. It is huge. And so that's very exciting for me. That's amazing, I'd love to see it. All right, let's go exploring. My favourite room is the Avengers room. My favourite characters are Iron Man, Captain America and Hulk. I like them because I think they're the strongest and they look the coolest. My favourite area is all about the Guardians of the Galaxy. favourite superhero is Spider-Man. I'm Matthew. I'm Angus. Thanks for joining us here at GOMA today. Bye! Wow, that was fun. Now, our next story is all about building. I've built a lot of stuff through my years. I've built boxes, suitcases and a speaker. Now I'll pass you to Josh to build something special for Father's Day or that special someone. Joshua, and um, so I like doing Lego, and so like I like doing Lego cre Creator, Lego Classic, um, Lego Shishi, and I like, and from Classic I like building my own stuff, and so, and also too I like Paw Patrol and Blaze, and I also love going to gymnastics, and soccer and so we're, we're going to be building something different so we're gonna um and it's gonna be for my mummy and sister so actually i have maybe i could actually do it for my grandpa hmm. helping us with our building is someone from bunnings of course it's demi and rosie thank you for being here do any of you know about paw patrol I don't know a lot about Paw Patrol. Can you tell me something about it? There's Chase, Rocky, Zuma, Sky, Marshall and Rubble. They're all the dogs. And there's Ryder. He's the one that tells them what to do in an emergency. Who's your favourite dog in Paw Patrol? I think my favourite dog is probably Chase. Joshua, I hear you've done a lot of building before. What are some of the things you've made? Well, i made a train, a fire engine, a pizza van, uh, two big ships. I've made, um, well, I've made loads of things because I've got loads of Legos and I haven't even counted them all yet because there's so many. Um, in the, we've got a special Lego cupboard and some of it's full of other toys and stuff, but most of it's full of Lego. What are we building today? Today we're going to make a little photo frame for the dads out there from some products at Bunnings. What are your top tips 
for what we're for what we're building. My top tips for what we're building today, well first we're going to use some paint. So we have to make sure that we don't use too much paint because it won't dry. And if it doesn't dry we won't be able to stick the nuts and bolts and things onto it. So that's my top tip. Alright, let's get building! If I hold three, this is actually this is actually a quite heavy lot. Hmm. What are you gonna draw? Are you gonna do a bit of a pattern? Or? I'm gonna do some colouring in. Could you colour in that side with red? This side here? Yep. Yep. Alright. I might do orange on that side, then red on that side. Like a pen. Good plan. is the nut. Is that right? My favourite actually is the bolt. It's the bolt? Why is it your favourite? I don't know. Is it the shape of it? That's yeah. pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Glue and glitter. Go for it. Glitter it up. Glittering. Go! I think it's done. <sighs> Do you like glitter, Mummy? That's beautiful. Is that going to be for me? I call it out work. Sparkle dancing! <laughs> I'm not the only one building. There are some other people that have work under construction. so much fun decorating this and I've had so much fun like I'm um, being filmed and I can't wait, wait, wait to be on YouTube. I just can't wait. I can't wait. It's been so fun. Thank you to Bunnings and thank you for joining me. I'm Joshua signing off for now. Bye. you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. Send us an email at hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. Hey, I'm Connor and I'm here at the ECA. I didn't go to the ECA. The ECA came to the hospital. This is the ECA party. Presented by the Children's Hospital Foundation. Every year, it brings the fun games of the Royal Queensland Show to Lady Salento. So everything here, there's, there's
There's building bricks. There's fairy floss. There's pony rides. Everything here is basically fun. It's just fun. I'm here with Mel, and look what she look what she's got here. She's got a baby pig. How's the pig? He's ten days old, and his name is Hamish. Oh, hello, Hamish. This pig feels like soft, just softness, pure softness. He's very cute. There's goats, there's, there's sheep, there's ducks, there's chickens, and there's baby piglets. And, and it's really, and they're very soft here. They're very, very cute. Epic. The fairy floss here is 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 is, is good. Like it tastes really good. Come to the Eka today and the the Eka that moved to the hospital and uh, try this fairy floss. It tastes good. The fairy floss is like a soft cloud and really sugary, but it's pure sugar. Justin, what is this robot used for? This robot goes where I don't want to go. If I'm scared, I send this robot in. It's a tactical robot we use. I'm from the Special Emergency Response Team, and I'm the technical surveillance officer there. So, and we dev develop this sort of technology, that, uh, as well as other electronic stuff. And you're literally using a, a PlayStation remote? Yes, because they're cheap and replaceable. Okay. Can you show us how it works? Yeah, just like a normal PlayStation, but we've got safeties on it, so if it has a bad day, it'll shut down. Food attack number two, the hot dogs. They're delicious here. I think they're gonna be awesome. Dog finished me off. This is kind of signing me, signing off. Bye. I spend a lot of time in hospital, and what helps pass the time is painting on a canvas. I do a lot of painting. It's really fun. I do multicolors, swerves, squiggles, and everything. It really passes the time really quick. The colors I paint with is to signal my emotions of what I'm feeling that day. Now I pass you to Savannah to do something fun with her dad. It turns into an entertainment that's a gift that keeps giving. Hi, I'm Savannah and this is my dad. Hello. My favourite thing to do is watch Star Wars with my dad and my favourite ca uh, character is Ahsoka from Clone Wars. What is your favourite character? I've got a few, mostly the Jedi, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, Pretty much the Jedi, they're, they're my favourites. To celebrate Father's Day, we're making our own Star Wars story. But we won't be adventuring off into a galaxy, far, far away, all on our own. We're being joined by members of the 501st Legion. the 501st? So the 501st Legion is one of the largest not-for-profit charity organisations in the world and in Queensland alone the Redback Garrison raised in excess of $50,000 last year. What sort of things do you do? So we help raise money for charities. So we go as an organisation to a group or an event and we sell raffle tickets, we rattle tins and we raise some funds for children or other charities in need. What is the best part of being a part of the 501st? 
Well, apart from being an awesome character, I also get to see your smile and everyone smiles around. That's one of the best parts of being in the Legion is seeing everyone smiles and especially when they get to see their favourite character in real life. That's probably one of the best things ever. Do you have a favourite Star Wars movie? Oh, that's like asking if you have a favourite child or a favourite toy. Um, I guess my favourite would be Return of the Jedi. It's where I'm from. Thanks for being here today. Let's start putting together our Star Wars story. My favourite part was doing the part where I used um, the force to knock down the bad guys. What was your favourite part? Definitely using the force to defeat the Empire. I'm Savannah. And I'm Savannah's dad. And this is our Star Wars movie. I have travelled many past acts to find this place, to acquire tales of bravery that will inspire our entire galaxy to stand up against the Empire. Princess, we must leave immediately. Imperial agents are on the hunt in this vicinity. I know, I smelled that foul stench when they landed. I have a bad feeling about this. You always do. So, I was hanging out on the forest moon of Endor. Freeze, rebel scum! You're coming with us! Allow me. Let's go and give hope to the galaxy. Take me to my ship. That brings us to the end of this show and happy Father's Day to all the dads that are celebrating on September the 3rd. I just want to say to everyone that's watching Juice TV, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. This is Angel. See ya. And my best bet. Nah, 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 nah. Hi, I'm Angus. <laughs> it's over to Matt and this. Oh, damn it. That's <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Now I'll pass you to Joshua for the, the, the building something for Father's Day. Oh, there's a corner there. <laughs>
Now it's over to Matt, Angus and George for a hoop. Super, superhero. I know, I felt, I smelt the old stout. <laughs> Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming or decide what goes into each episode. Let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also, head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.